What's up guys? Welcome to part two of this catch and cook series. And so last time I didn't really feel like cooking up those fish just because I wanted to have more time fishing. And then also I wanted to try out this kind of new format because you know, some people really enjoy the fishing aspect of these videos and others purely the cooking. Uh, so I thought it'd be interesting just to split it in two and that way, uh, whatever your interests are, you could view one or the other or perhaps both if you'd like. So let me know what you think of this format. And if you haven't seen part one, I suggest you go look at that. I'll leave it in the uh, description below. I'm gonna play a couple clips from that just to get an idea of what went on and how I ended up obtaining these brook trout. It was an awesome trip. I went out and caught some brook trout, salmon, uh, all in Baxter State Park, just beautiful area, um, right next to some waterfalls. And so it was a really great trip. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see this full series and you have to check that out first. So since I'm just going to be cooking fish, I, I was kind of thinking, you know, how am I going to make this just a little bit more interesting? And I think I found a solution to that. So let me show you. I decided to come up on a mountainside to do this catch and cook because I thought that would just spice it up just a little bit. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to make myself a dinner with those brook trout. I'm going to make some rice, I got some spinach, and have myself a good dinner up here on the mountainside. One big part of outdoor cooking is really just the scenery. You know, it's nice to have excellent food, but when you're cooking outdoors, food just seems to taste better and to have good scenery to go along with it, you know, just really ties it all in. Is there any way that you could sort of just soft me out so that like I, I don't know that I'm at work in here. Could I come home and think that I've been fishing all day? Okay. Let's start with the rice. All right, well, that's not quite boiling yet, but let's just go ahead and add the rice so we can get started. So I just brought some uh, wild long grain rice. And once again, I forgot utensils. So. I have this nice stick. It's going to do the job. Since I didn't bring any utensils and eating rice, I'm kind of going to need them. I'm just going to make some chopsticks uh, so that way I can eat my meal. Pretty simple fix. There we go. Got my chopsticks made up. For ingredients, I brought along some garlic. Uh, I have some spinach with me, and then I'm going to top it off with some dill, and then I brought hot sauce as well. And of course, something we can't do without, I brought along the fish. Alright, time to add the fish. Now I don't have any olive oil or something to make it not stick, so I'm going to try using water. Yeah, pretty good fit. Put our garlic over the top. Looking pretty good, actually, that worked out. It's just kind of like the uh, boiled fish. So let's try making use of my chopsticks to flip these over. Should work out fine. Oh yeah. So this is done, let's go ahead and uh, get it plated up. So I'm gonna get that garlic over it. I'll finish that off, put a little dill over the top. There we go. And some hot sauce. Why not? What is the best way to use these? They're a little crooked. Well, I have to say, guys, that looks like a pretty good meal for being outdoors. <laughs> and the view is just incredible. Try it out, see what I think. And I get to see how these chopsticks are going to work out for me. Hmm. That turned out really good. And the chopsticks aren't that bad either. Actually, this worked out all right. Dill is a good touch too. Dill and a little bit of hot sauce. A little spicy, not too much. Really good. Hmm. I should have brought a little lemon, but can't remember it all. Actually, I forgot most of the things I needed anyway, but made it work. Let me know if you like this kind of style. Uh, I can do it again. I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I don't have, or I can keep fishing and that way I have a chance to catch some nice big fish like I did on that last episode. You guys should check it out if you didn't already. 
If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to follow along, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any videos. And I'm just going to finish up my meal, enjoy the nice view, and I'll see you guys next time.